I'm back for yet another video and today we're going to be doing a, a review, a well overdue review on uh, my Swiss Army Victorinox Twinker, uh, I mean Tinker, I think Twinker. Um, yeah, I've had this knife for, I don't know, since I was like 8, 10, I don't even remember. But, um, as you know, when I, oh, when I was younger, I used to, like, use it for what you're not supposed to cut things that, um, not meant to. And, um, highly abused knife. Um, I still have all, all the stuff that, uh, goes on here. I still have the toothpick I never used. Uh, I still have the tweezers, with, which I did use to get, like, uh, splinters out. And, um, this is the original Twinker from, it's not, it's the, they still make it, but it's the one from 1897, the original Swiss Army, created by Master, um, Carl Esmer. And we'll start off with the big blade, with the, with the spear blade, we have, um, a two and a half inch spear blade just counting the blade um, and right here it says the Tornox Swiss made stainless steel um, and then closed it's three and a half inches long uh, let's go ahead to open up the pen blade for the pen blade we have one and a half inch blade which um, this one's the one I keep sharp like for a smaller, more detailed things, like a kind of like a what do you call it, an exacto knife kind of. I keep it much sharper than the than the spear blade. The spear one I use uh, for bigger uh, cutting task. And then um, yeah, as you can see, it's like super scratched up. I used to um, it used to be red, like the blade used to be red. All the tools used to be red because when I was younger, I uh, painted them all with sharpie. But I, uh, I just went ahead and I cleaned everything off. I had glue and stuff on it. I cleaned that off with um, some lighter fuel, and um, and I got the knife as clean as possible. And uh, next we have. Uh, is a pretty classic uh, bottle opener with the wire stripper right here and you got um, a big uh, flathead screwdriver pretty simple this one locks in uh, halfway and uh, full full open as a like a little kind of it kind of locks but not really then uh, we have the bottle opener which I gotta say it's one of the best bottle openers for um, pocket knives, pocket tool knives. Um, like the steel really holds up a lot of uh, use. Uh, I haven't used this more than two times I think, but it it worked great. You, if you don't know how to open uh, a can with this, uh, just comment below and I'll make a video. And then you have a smaller flathead on top. That you could use. Um, also, these are about uh, an inch long. And then on the back, we have like a Phillips screwdriver, which I've used plenty. And I like how it's right in the middle, so you can kind of hold the knife right here and get a lot more torque from it. And um, a lot of people don't know, but if you can see, there's like a little a hole right there in the red um, let's see if you can see it right there you can put a like a pin in there uh, some Swiss armies have it uh, but um, some don't and you can actually just buy it and put it in there with, and have an extra tool and then um, next to the, the screwdriver we have a, a reamer with a sewing line in the middle. Never really used this for what it's supposed to be used. I used it to like make holes in something. Kind of like a drill maybe. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have much use for it. 
uh, it's it's always uh, nice and sharp. Um, yeah, and then I have a uh, style of the tweezers, which are actually pretty good tweezers. They're not very strong, but they're good for getting like splinters out. Very good for that. And then we have a reusable toothpick, which I never used. I never really had to use it. Um, yeah, and then um, I got a big giant crack right here, which isn't really a problem because it's not like uh, floppy or anything. It's just cracked. I don't know how I got that thing. I think maybe I used it like as a hammer for a nail or something, and it cracked. But um, there's no issue there, and we got a key ring hole right here. And that's the little one you can put on your keychains and carry it. Uh, I think I can carry it because it's two and a half inches long. But um, I gotta check if it's two and a half or two inches long in California where I live. And um, and the metal for the for all the stuff is gonna be at the end of the video. Um, so if you want to see what type of um, sealant steel is used for the blade or any of the tools, um, it'll, it'll be in a picture at the end of the video. Yeah, but overall this is one of my, um, this is my by far most uh, used knife. And uh, I gotta say it's probably one of my favorites. Um, I plan to get a, a Swiss Army Victorinox uh, soldier with the, the hole for one hand open and yeah, I'm gonna get that one uh, soon. I, I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's like 50. I'm gonna go ahead and save up for that and get it. And I'll do a review on it. But um, other than that, it's got a red composition handle. If you want, um, you could uh, an extra um, change the handle for a new one. You just have to pop it out. You can use your nail. Let's see. There we go. That's what it looks like without it. You can still use it like that, but it doesn't look as good. Um, and then you can just go ahead and order a brand new um, handle for it. And you can just click, it pops back on. I never used to, um, found that out but a year or two ago that you can take this off. And uh, yeah, so you can always get like a new one. I think they have a, a yellow and a black. Um, and a blue that you can get and uh, yeah that's about it it's got like some fingerprints on it that I can't take off they're like kinda kinda melted in or maybe it's like super glue but I couldn't get it off um, but yeah that's about it that's about the review for today and uh, thanks for watching please comment, write, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Um, I just, uh, real quick, I wanted to add to the video, um, that you did, uh, I wanted to, um, add a shout out to Epic Blade Time. Um, I believe they're a newer channel. They've been, I think that he, at least, the dude that, um, does a show, I think he at least put up 20 videos this, um, in the past two weeks, I believe. He's putting up videos all the time. And, uh, I, I, I like his channel a lot because, um, it's, like, dedicated to throwing knives and throwing, just throwing. It might not be the, um, not much of an instructional video series, just, like, um, uh, just knife throwing. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool channel. Um, so if you want to go check out the channel, please click here, or you can click here, or here, or you can click here, or you can click on my Swiss Army knife. Click. Yeah, and I'll send you to this channel, and uh, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.